Hey there, everybody. My name is Kitty Mobile. Welcome back to another video of NHL 21 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series. And uh, today I've got a special announce to tell you, uh, to announce to you guys, basically. Uh, I decided to make things a little bit different for the format of my videos. I already put up a poll on YouTube asking you guys what I should do. So far, it looks like you guys are anonymous, uh, anonymously uh, deciding for me to go after... A 30 minute video but two uh, two videos per day but 30 minutes each so I think I'm gonna be doing that uh, from now on you know when I have you know uh, more than two games because uh, it's gonna be I'm telling you it's, there's a lot of game coming up I'm gonna have six or seven games at the same time to play it's a lot of it's a lot of money wasted by me also but it's also a lot of time to take, so I don't have that time real life to really re uh, record all of this. So I gotta uh, choose, pick and choose. So uh, it helps me out if I have to do only 30 minute videos and that's what you guys want. So I'll take that, I guess. I'll take anything you guys want. And uh, we'll start it off with the franchise mode. We're gonna try and do as quick as possible. Uh, I'm not even gonna focus anymore on the scouting. Uh, I, this might be our last year or not. If we don't win the cup, this is going to be our last year because uh, I feel like i already done enough for them. We won three times the President's Trophy over the last five years, boys. So, so I think we're just doing fine. It's just we haven't like we just got unlucky. And uh, last year we didn't make it. Once again, we didn't make it even past the second round. So it's rough it's rough but uh we can start it up boys all right we're gonna start the simulation up see how it goes i'm not gonna waste any more time two four six eight and ten so all the way up to the hurricanes uh game at uh almost the end of the month basically we're gonna see how far we uh we go with this uh, how good uh, we are hopefully we can win a lot of games now we are, in my opinion, a lot weaker in the left wing position than we were la uh, last year. But then again, you never know. I don't know how good uh, Nolan Foote can actually be for our team. I thought he would be good enough to play in the league. Uh, in my opinion, 79, you're not that good enough just yet. Uh, yeah, you're decent enough to play, but not good enough, you know, if you want to, if you know what I mean. But uh, so far, so good. It's just like last year, we're starting off with a big, uh, like kind of a big streak, uh, a good uh, a good thing going for the um, first 10 games. But as you see that I'm going on a three game losing streak right there and uh, two regulation losses right there too. Uh, I don't like to see that. We're getting some points though. So six, two and two after the last 10 games, boys. It's not horrible. It's actually pretty good when you think about it, but over the last two past three games, though, with three losses, but it's not good. Jack Hughes still doing his thing, boys, as, as usual. Still uh, doing fantastic. So uh, what we're going to do, obviously, we're going to look at our team stats now and make sure that everything's all right. So let's take a look at our team stats, see where we are. Third best scoring team, okay. In the middle for the goals per game, okay. So we are giving up a little bit more goals than usual. Uh, power play in the middle, so I'm going to keep it there. And penalty kill, we have the worst penalty kill. That might explain stuff, boys. 100% for the Rangers, the hell? Okay, then. Okay, so we do have the worst penalty kill out there, boys. So we do need to change that up uh, big time. I believe my strategies are just fine because it worked out every single uh, year. I think it's just the lineups themselves. They might not be good, boys. So, uh, yeah, power forward on a penalty kill. Are you serious? I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. I'm going to put Jack Hughes with Kachuk, boys. Both have the highest amount of, I guess, defensive awareness. I want to put them in there. And I've got uh, Utchins and Yokstrand playing together, right, in the uh, in the uh, actual thing. Oh, I'd actually... Hutchins is a better, oh, he's a better cent, yeah, he's a better killer, penalty killer, than use in my opinion. So let's put use in the second. All right, so that should help us out a little bit. Hopefully it does. I don't want to switch anything up right now, boys. Don't want to focus on anything unless just might make sure that everybody's scouting properly, though. You never know, right? I think yeah, everybody's scouting properly. 
I'm not focusing anymore on the scouts, boys, because uh, I really want to just focus on the season and make sure that we advance as much as possible. With 30 minute time videos, it's a lot less than one hour uh, for the franchise mode, especially you don't have uh, as much time to make decisions. If I want to do the entire season, I got to make it quick. Uh, two, four, that would be six uh, right there, eight and ten, so all the way up to the Tampa Bay Lightning game. We're going to uh, simulate until our 20th uh, game is done, boys. There's another loss, so we continue on our regular on our losing streak right there but there, there's a win finally against the LA Kings uh, we got to get on a, a winning streak going on right now Nolan Patrick is injured oh we actually have two injuries wait a minute oh my god Nolan Patrick and Hutchins are injured are you serious I just put him in the uh, uh, that is not good all right two centers are injured at the same time well, I uh, I think I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to put uh, Bird Cheesy in there. I guess there we go. Hold on, there we go. Put it in there. Oh, what are you doing? Game. Oh no. All right, it's good to game uh, to know that the game can crash like that, just like Watch Dogs, boys. And there's no. Is there any games that do not crash this year, or is there any game that is not like that's actually finished? God damn it, man! I swear, it's a big ass troll. So we're just coming up to the end of the month. So we're going to have to re-simulate everything. Hopefully they don't get injured then. Hopefully they, they do not. Uh, did it save at least? Did it save the uh, penalty kill lines? Or do I have to redo it again, boys? Oh my god, I swear. Well, this is our chance to have an even better simulation that we were, uh, were having. So maybe we can have a better simulation. Maybe we can get lucky. Uh, you never know, boys. It can work out into our favor right here. We still lose against the, hurricane, the Hurricanes. How the hell is that happening? <laughs> How the hell is that a thing, boys? We still win. All right, so it's the same record so far as what we've seen. Uh, like, let's go. Let's win. There we go. There's a win against the uh, Calgary Flames. A big time loss against the Edmonton Oilers. I don't want. I don't want losses. There we go. There's, I, I want wins. If I see us losing a bit more, boys. If I see us losing more than we should. I'm making trades so that we start getting dominant. All right, I want to be. I want us to be a uh, dominant team, because uh, at this point in time we are like three times in five years we're the best team in the in the league. There's no reason as to why we shouldn't be this year. Even though we are a little bit weaker on the left wing, we should be still the best team. All right, so there's no reason as to why this should be a thing. There we go. Two wins in a row. I like to see that. Now, we are not going on a big time winning streak, though. We are losing some games, but not too much. We're still having good records. Uh, seven and three. That's pretty good, boys, in my opinion. Jack Hughes, 24 points. Doing fantastic so far. Um, there we go. 28 points, 30. Okay, so there's three team, uh, four teams in total. All top teams are at 30 points. So we're pretty much the, in the race for it, the entire league right now. The entire league is looking to go all berserk uh basically so we have to take a look really quick uh did it change did it modify the team stats or are they better now right want to make sure that they are better or not hopefully they are so devils we are scoring a lot more goals we're starting to score more goals we're gonna keep it as it is i guess this is our five on five so really there's not a lot that we can change about that maybe it's because of our penalty kill to be honest uh, power play, no, hold on, power play where they are, still in the middle, we could definitely upgrade the power play, I feel like, penalty kill, I think it went up, yeah, it went up, so the penalty kill is going up, power play is not, like, doing so good, boys, and not really doing that good, and the uh, match could shock on the third, second line, the second line is doing fantastic as well, it's doing just fine with uh, Nolan Patrick now, it's two power forwards playing together, and that might be the problem, actually. I don't know if that's really that good, boys. I might have to change it up. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like it would be better if I just did that. Let's try it out like that. Let's try to put Kachak with Hughes and Bjorkstrand. Maybe it's going to help out a little bit more. Uh, if I put uh, Ehlers with, I guess, Patrick and Patrick... Uh, well, the two Patricks, basically. That's a sniper power forward playmaker. Yes, I kind of want that here. All right, here's what the defense is going to look like. We're, we're going to have Dougie Hamilton playing with the uh, Makara boys. 
and uh, Gashish Beer with Ristolina. We're moving up Ristolina. I need these players. They, they were doing fine together, but I need I need a spark. I need to score a little bit more. And I think it doesn't help out. The goalie is not as good. Samson, I thought would be good enough. Turns out he's not as good as Markstrom was. Uh, he's still decent enough, but for an 88 overall, I would expect a little bit more out of him. So I uh, will just simulate. We'll continue to simulate. We'll see if my new lineups are going to help at all or not. If they do not help, I'm switching the strategies. We end up at the 40 game mark and I end up not liking our record or something like that. I'm going to go look for trades, but until then, I'm not going to do two uh, things too drastically, right? I'm just going to switch lineups and switch strategies. So two, four, six, eight, and 10. So all the way up to the Vegas Golden Knights game for the 30th, uh, past the 30th game. Uh, let's get some wins going, buddy. I just switched the, the lineup, so let's see if it's gonna work. So far not, because we lose two to O, but we win, okay. So we won against the Columbus Blue Jackets. We won against Montreal, a shout out as well. We need more of that. Uh, we definitely, yeah, we need big performances like that by our goaltender right here. Uh, we need semi enough, or not semi enough, but um, our goalie, right? We need uh, Samson enough to really play super well and give us the opportunity because it, we're, we're scoring goals, but we're not like dominating score wise in the league. So I, I need like that defense. I need, um, I need that defense to uh, be there and help us out. Uh, for the production wise there we go just like that we're winning games boys this was our first our only loss so far we only got two losses uh, let's hope that it stays like that the Vegas school uh, the Vancouver Canucks we beat them and the Anaheim Ducks as well all right we're scoring goals and we are keeping the puck out of the net I like to see that uh, which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the last 10 games eight and two were uh, even ha we're having an even better record boys Hurting the stats for Jack Hughes a little bit, just a little bit, but uh, I don't care about the stats, uh, individual stats. I want my team to play well, boys. That's what I want. Now, we're bouncing back up, but it looks like the Hurricanes are really doing well. I swear. I don't know what to do exactly to slow them down, but uh, let's take a look at the stats, team stats again, boys, and make sure that uh, we're still on par, right? We're still doing good. Yeah, the Devils, we're actually moving up. We'll keep moving up for the most amount of points, right? Goals per game. Uh, goals against. We are doing very good, actually. Yeah, we're doing. We're giving up a lot less goals. I like to see that. We are from 2.9 boys to 2.6. That is perfect. That is fantastic. We're the second best team on that par. We are also the third best team on the power play. So our power play is going up. Good to Good to know. A penalty kill is definitely going up, boys. It, it went from, we were at 71 at the beginning at the first 10 game. And now we're at 77. So it's going up big time. So everything's doing fine. Not changing anything. Uh, it looks like our team is doing uh, fantastic right now. And it helps out to have a coaching staff that is literally A's everywhere, right? My coaching staff is 9 million. So I'm paying them big time. I expect them to produce for me, right? To uh, make things happen. So two, four, six, eight, and ten, I believe. So all the way up to the Vig uh, Vancouver Canucks game in the next month, the month of January. We're gonna move up to the next year, boy. So we continue our little winning streak right here. Puts us at how much? Hold on, we're gonna get past the Toronto Maple Leafs game. We win it. So that's two, four, six. Okay, so six game winning streak, but then we lose against the D uh, Dallas Stars. Uh, we're going to win back against the Pittsburgh Penguins, lose against the Blue Jackets Columbus. Uh, we got to get some wins there. Go oh, no, another 3-2 loss. Okay, we're starting to get some regulation losses here. Come on. Here we go. There's a win. We're giving up a little bit more goals this time around. It is, oh my God, 3-2 losses. It's just a bunch of 3-2 losses. I don't understand. Fully healed. I think Bjorkstrand was, I guess, a minor injury or something like that. Let's go, guys. Uh, win that last game against uh, Philadelphia. There we go. These uh, were winning that one. So two games in a row right there we win. So past two game, uh, past 10 games, six and four. So not as good as I wanted to, boys. The thing is, we're definitely in the race for the President's Trophy again, obviously. But the Hurricanes keep winning. 
and we're not having that good of a record right it's a pretty much tweener record so i think i want to make a trade to help us out even further we need to upgrade our team i feel like i really feel like we need to upgrade our team i want to look at our stats though team stats wise maybe there is something i can do for that we're actually trailing down for the goals per game that is not too good we were scoring less goals all of a sudden, boys, but we're still third best. Uh, Devils were still the second best uh, defensive team. And we have the be third best power play still. We tr it trended down. I guess it's because of the power play trended down. Penalty kill. Uh, going up. It's still going up, but everybody else's penalty kill is going up as well. So uh, don't worry about that. It's still going up, boys. Uh, it went at 78 now. All right, so yeah, I definitely want to make a trade because I feel like uh, we can definitely make something happen right here. There's, there's good potential for us to do some stuff. Don't feel like these guys are doing too good together. I thought they would be doing a lot better. Thought for sure, boys, but guess not. Why, is there, why are they not playing t t that well together? I don't get it. Thought for sure they would. All right, I'm not going to make a trade just yet. I changed my mind, boys, at the last second. Uh, I did modify the lineup, so we're going to simulate right here too. Uh, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So into the uh, 1st of uh, February. We're going to simulate the next 10 games. I did make tr line changes uh, once again. Uh, maybe we just got unlucky because it was the power play that went a little bit down for a while. We didn't produce as much in the power play. But here's my thinking. Uh, I think we uh, just need to wait it out until the trade deadline itself to see what our players are worth. Uh, I don't want to make too many uh, tr like too many mistakes and the trades and stuff like that. So I want to make sure that everything is doing fine. But as you can see, we went on a four game losing streak right there. Like we cannot afford that type of record right there. We can't afford to be doing that. Oh my god, it was another lose loss right there. Like we're getting some losses in overtime, but that's not enough. I want that. I I want wins. Why aren't we getting like these wins? Like or that bonus points, why aren't we getting it? So I don't like seeing that, boys. I'm th this is not good at all. I think we really need to make a trade in fast. Yeah, five, three, and two. We need to make a trade in fast. Uh, something's not good enough. Uh I think use is uh, clearly not producing as much as he was producing when he was playing with, um, I guess, someone like Ehlers instead of Kachuk. I think it makes all the difference, boys. I did put uh, Patrick Kane in there, but I think he's just not producing as much with uh, Ehlers, boys. I think it's just not working out. So if I put Ehlers in there back, maybe he's going to play a little bit better. Maybe uh, it's going to help him out. I don't know, boys, but Jackie, uh, Magic Chuck, I guess I'll put him back into the second line. I guess I can do that, boys. Whatever. They both are first liners anyways. So I can do whatever I want with them. Uh, this is a depth player, fourth liner. I could even do that probably, but I don't think that's a good idea, boys. I think they're just doing fine uh, where they are. Uh, second line, that's the first line, so we're keeping in there. Second line as well, fourth line. So we're keeping Hutchins in there. He's a great player, 96-93. That offensive awareness and uh, defensive awareness, boys, is all the way up. The rest of his stats are not, though. Got to keep him growing uh, uh, in the in there. And also, well, Abby Bullen is not, uh, like, he doesn't have as many goals as he used to have. Not really producing as much, boys. He's sharing the goals with Jokstrand and the likes of Patrick Kane as well. He's sharing the goals away. So that might explain things a little bit right here. I think what you need for a sniper, you need to uh, you need to have him alone, right? He needs to be alone with uh, two, either two playmakers or a pow power forward. So I think he's in a bad spot right now. He's, uh, he's playing with a power forward. Which is fine. He's playing with two power forwards. So the, that's three guys right there that are scoring a lot of goals. I don't have anybody else for him on the, uh, on the wing though. He's going to have to play with a power forward anyways. I could always uh, pick him up. Well, no. Bjorkstrand is a first liner, boys. So yeah. I, I got to keep Bjorkstrand in there in the first line. And also uh, Patrick Kane. You were starting to do fine. But I got to keep you your third liner. 
Let's just put them on where they're supposed to play, I guess. There we go, just like that. Vertanen, I'm gonna play him there. All right, we're gonna try it out like that. Uh, maybe if we can just, yeah, but no, because Magic Kachuk is a first liner. He's a first liner, so I gotta keep it in there. I can't uh, move him up, down more than this. I feel like I, we're gonna we're gonna try it out like this. All right, because we need a sniper to really snipe it up. We'll see if it works out for the power uh, two power forwards. We got okay. This should work out, and there's only yeah. We need only one one sniper per lineup, boys. Now I might be tempted to just go after either a playmaker or uh, another power forward. All right, just to replace Nolan Foot. Nolan Foot is just not good enough to play in the NHL right now. He's doing fine, but he's just not good enough in my opinion, boys. Uh, these four guys are doing all right. I guess Ty Smith though. Not doing that good with uh, Gustafsson, but that's fine. And my goal is, as you can see, uh, actually, Samsonov is starting to play a lot better, boys. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, let me find out if I, how I can make any trades, find anybody really to trade for. I'm tempted to try my luck, boys, with someone like Ricard Raquel, which he's got a lot, uh, not a lot of value. He really doesn't have a lot of value. He's costing a lot. Well, he's being paid a lot. He's got four years remaining, but he's 32 years of age. I think it's good enough. It's good enough for me. Or otherwise, we could also try our luck, I guess, on someone like a little bit higher in value, but a big time prospect that the Montreal Canadiens, like, look, he doesn't have a lot of value. He has 27 goals, another big time scorer, but he's a playmaker. That's what I'm looking after, boys. Uh, left wing playmaker. And right there, that's a big time prospect for them. Doesn't have a lot of value. Uh, I am going to try my luck uh, with him first. And uh, we'll see if we can't upgrade ourselves really quick right there, boys. So uh, we don't really have anything into the miners, right? We uh, are already missing a miner. So definitely foot would go uh, to the miners and upgrade themselves over there. But uh, what, do, what we have here is I'm not going to trade any roster player because I can't afford that right now. I could get rid of maybe I got like a big time prospect or something. I could literally get rid of Kovac. Uh, Kovac is never going to become anything to me. So I could uh, just like give them my elite player. And in exchange, I could literally give them like, uh, there we go, some players like this. Some big time prospects, boys. Just give them pay, uh, three big time prospects that I tr uh, like basically drafted last year with Kovac which was a low lead, never became anything, but uh, they gave me like Chubarov in, ex in exchange. Let's see if that's going to work. It does work. So they get they get four prospects and I get Chubarov. Everybody's happy right here. So I do have Chubarov right here. Um, I'm going to, instead of Nolan Foot now, Chubarov, you're coming in. Big time upgrade for Nolan Foot, boys. Now we got an 87 overall in here. Uh, we're going to go into edit lines really quick. And uh, we're going to make sure that uh, he's in there. Definitely. So you're playing, my guy. Now imagine if I could play these two together. Uh, Happy Bull and, and Chubarov. Now, Chubarov, 87. Seems like uh, the type of guy who scores goals. But he's a playmaker. He's listed as a playmaker. So what we can do right here with him. Obviously, Brat is going to play on the fourth line. With Ochans and Pugliarvi. Uh, Chubarov, I might be tempted to literally try him out like this. There we go. So now we got the playmaker to play alongside of Abby Bolin, boys. And we got the power forward to help them out. And uh, I guess what we can do is definitely this right here. So power forward, playmaker, sniper. Okay, we're going to keep it like that. And we got Ehlers as a playmaker, power forward, sniper. Seems to work out just fine for me. And Jesper Brat. Okay, so this is fine. I think that's the only trade I'm going to do for now. All right, the only uh, change I'm going to do for now. And uh, now that is done. Is do I, do I need to pick him up anywhere? Seems like to be a good player. He's got some good defensive awareness and stuff like that. So I don't know if I should uh, play him in the power play or anything. Let me see who's in the power play. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. Instead of Jesper, like someone like Jesper Brat, instead of saying, uh, someone like him. I could literally pull uh, 
Chabarov in there. It could literally be, yeah, be super good for us. Oh, there we go. That is fantastic right there. That should work out just fine. Just like that, boys. And if I do the four-man power play, okay, let's just keep it like that. Okay. Uh, I'm happy with that. And over here, obviously, now we need to change it up. Uh, I've got just the solution for you. Replacement is going to be Nolan Foot. All right, he's back anyways. Shit. No, not again. Not again, game. Why does it do that glitch all over again, boys? Oh, I can't fucking do anything. Uh, note to self, boys. Fucking save the game every five seconds because apparently there's a new glitch in, a glitch in this game when you change the lineups. It's fucking annoying. It really is. So put it back everything like I wanted it to be. So hopefully this time around everything's going to be fine. Also, I, yeah, I did forget. I also do need to put Chabarov back in there, right? Back into the... Uh, special unit because I didn't do that uh, last time so oh Chabarov's there now oh they're already put automatically put him in there okay so I'll keep it like that then uh, I'm fine as it is although they did probably change the lineups again for this yeah right uh, they did uh, I gotta put that back in there and Patrick uh, you're gonna go and uh, Kachuk you're gonna go there Patrick I don't want you uh, I don't want you in I wanted it, uh, I wanted Vertanen, right? No, it's Bjorkstrand. There we go. Bjorkstrand was playing there. It was uh, not Abby Bolin, but it was uh, Jack Hughes. There we go. Jack Hughes playing there. Okay. That should do it. Uh, yeah, that should do it. Uh, Jack Hughes, you're not playing. Uh, not uh, Patrick, you're not playing. And Hutchins, you're playing there. Okay, good. Everybody's good now. The lineups are good. God damn it, boys. I swear. If it does the glitch again, I'm going to flip my shit. But uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save the video right here because it's supposed to be 30 minute videos. That's what you want. You guys want it. So it uh, looks like the season is probably going to be split uh, now uh, into two for the, the rest of the video. So I'm going to leave it right here. We're going to see if we can continue the good simulation in the next one. Remember to do the like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy.